the monastery of St. Trinity Agios Nectarios and Xanthos on the island of Egina, which the saint began to restore in 1904, is one of the most important places for pilgrimages in Greece. Thousands of Christians flock from all over the world to worship the place where St. Nectarios lived. Near the Church of the Holy Trinity, which he founded and solemnly opened on June 2, 1908, there is a small church with a grave where the saint rests. It would not be an exaggeration to say that the ocean of human pain, sadness, problems, worries and diseases has been crashing with its turbulent waves for decades against this heavenly and miraculous wall of the tomb where the holy relics of the saint were miraculously found peace and healing. There, at the relics of St. Nectarios, in addition to the daily healings through his prayers, another thing happens, which may not be so well known to the general public. Since there is no death for orthodoxy, after Christ triumphantly trampled it, the all-living and miraculous Nectarios communicates with the pilgrims in a special and unique way. Hundreds of believers put their ear to the saint's grave every day and hear the strikes of his cane. Something I can personally attest to, when I was there and heard with my own ears a characteristic muffled sound that is heard at regular intervals and exactly resembles the sound of a cane hitting the ground. This is another supernatural phenomenon, from the multitude of miracles that have occurred in orthodoxy throughout time, and prove to us the existence of the spiritual world. Thousands of Christians confirm the miraculous phenomenon, but this does not mean that everyone who puts their ear to the saint's grave will surely hear the strikes. Because this, as happens with many miracles of orthodoxy, depends on the faith of each individual, the will of God and the will of the saint himself. After all, miracles are alterations of reality that belong to the realm of the spirit and are primarily addressed to souls. What do these strikes mean? In a sense, Saint Nectarios makes his presence known. It reminds us that he never left. He is here, next to us, among us. Guardian of bodies and souls with countless miracles and testimonies that would take many libraries to list. It is enough to visit the monastery of Ikina or another Greek pilgrimage to St. Nectarios in Camarisa Lavrio, to see for yourself the mountain of fulfilled wishes, people who experienced shocking miracles that changed their lives. In another interpretation, the continuous rhythm of the strikes is a continuous wake-up call. Wake up, wake up, turn your eyes to heaven, as if the saint tells us, seeing the mess of our time.